Hi, I have a box opening today and it is not um, Reborns, it is the other dolls that I have been buying and I got this one a few days ago and then this morning my last one, second one, showed up. So, or my third because I opened my gorgeous doll last time. So, let's just get into this had a rough journey. It's come from Valencia, Netherlands. Look at the stickers on it. So this is what I have bought besides, or instead of a new reborn. It's been a while though. There, um, there were dolls that I've looked at. Oh, they're big. This is so funny. I thought this is just like a reborn box, not just like that. You know how sometimes you get a reborn box opening and, oh my gosh, my cat just bit me when I was, I had to put her in the other room because she likes to fight with everybody if I'm not right there. And she got mad at me and bit me and I have a little bit of blood on my hand. Um. So sometimes you order a reborn or you like a reborn and then you see it in real life or you get it and you haven't really thought about how big it's going to be and it's like way smaller or way bigger than you imagined it was going to be. That is what's happening right now. So these little dolls I saw like a long time ago I saw them on something and when I'd sold some of my reborns just a little while ago. Um, I re was looking for these, I think. Anyway, I imagined that they were only like this big. And I'm sure if you read, I think they're, I think I kind of knew they were bigger because I think they're 32 centimeters or not. It would be something else. I don't know. Because it's in centimeters and I always have to go and look on, I have to Google it so that I can figure it out. But even when it says like 18 inches, unless you like get the 18 inch doll and you're holding it, you really, well, so, at least I can't. 18 inches or even like a 12 inch silicone can seem so much different in like the width and anyway. So these are my bigger dolls. This is one of their boxes. So that's showing you right there that these are bigger than I imagined. I even saw a picture of a lady on like Google Images holding them. She had like the whole collection. And so I got two of them in this order. And they're stuffed, they're stuffed with newspapers. Or Spanish or whatever in my cat is that. But that's always fun. I always think that's fun to see other newspapers and stuff. Okay, so these are the Biggers dolls. Um, I think they're the Bergeron. Um, the Biggers are small beings with human form that live amongst us from ancient times. In each period, they have been called different names, goblins, trolls, or gremlins. They are known by their unmistakable eyes. In other times, it was said that the Biggers were the ones who accompanied children who had been lost, making them laugh and helping them to return home. They are very difficult to see. Nobody has ever captured one. Apparently, humans lose the ability to see them as they become adults. Only children can see them. We know of their existence because they appear in photographs. The camera film is so sensitive that they are immortalized and visual to... Um, immortalized and visible to... They are not visible to the human eye. They feed on the chemistry we admit when we laugh when there's happiness. That's why they usually live together with happy families since they also feel curious about human beings. No, no, no. These dolls are very real recreations of the few biggers that have been photographed, each one with its own name and from a different country. 
They can live in families or alone. Hardly anyone knows about them, although they are said to be travelers because those that have been discovered have been photographed in very remote places. So that's just the, the legend of the biggers, and, and there's still some more, but I didn't read them. So first, I guess we'll start with this little girl. So here is a bigger. The Bourgeois. And look how cute the box is. It has like butterflies and leaves and that's like paper leaves. Because they have like words from a story in a book. I don't think it's taped. Oh, there's still plastic in there. So there that she is inside her box. So originally there was a little boy bigger um, that I'd seen some years ago. And I'll make sure this is what I want to be doing. And I ordered him. And then I thought, well, I want to order one of the girls too. And so I chose her to order as one of the girls. So I'm going to try to keep their boxes nice, even though I saved so many boxes over the years. I have a closet full of boxes. I got rid of a bunch of them, but. So here's a bigger. Bourgeois baby and it has the same kind of fasteners as the gorgeous ones which I like just these little plastic oh maybe I'll cut it I didn't want to cut it but I I don't plan on putting them back in their box but you never know you know you, I, I tell myself I don't need any more reborns I don't have any room for them and then I ordered these dolls, and they're bigger than I was imagining, and I'm kind of like, well, where am I going to put these dolls? <laughs> this is better elastic. Oh, goodness. Woo! Yay! There she is. Okay. This first one's out of the box. Look how cute they are. A cute little her cute little shoes um, this says sales blunt I don't remember her name being like that and she has a little hat I'm not gonna cut the I'm not going to cut the the little thing that holds it on her head Definitely has some box hair we're going to have to fix. But look how cute. Look at her. They go, they have these big heads, these big eyes, and these little limbs. Look how cute she is. Um, I liked her because, um, like the color of her hair and she has freckles and I just liked her little expression she's kind of not scared oh I keep trying to pull that down but look at it's supposed to be like that how cute it's like rolled up knee and her clothes you can buy different clothes for them too but I most likely will just keep them in the clothes that they came come in and They have these little like plastic things that the elastics can hook around and I really didn't want to cut the elastic. So they come with this. Let's see what this is. The legend of the bigger. So it's just the same, the legend. And then there's like pictures of other, other little biggers, Bajon biggers. Keep 
that in her box. I'm going to move her box out of the way so that we can so we can open dum, 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 his box and he is the one that I originally was interested in buying some years ago look how cute he is <laughs> he also has freckles I don't think they all have freckles I like freckles on dolls I think it's fun and usually the dolls with the freckles are the, the little snooty ones they're not like the pretty ones they're like the artistic gardening ones or whatever if they have a theme like that So here he is, look how cute he is. His name is Trevor Flynn. So her name must be, I think it's an S. Sales Blunt, and he is Trevor Flynn, and his elastics are wound up. The ones behind their back look bigger, so I'm gonna, and I'm not gonna open his little um, paper. Because we know that what it says. It's just the and they come in the same kind of boxes. Same with the butterflies and the flowers and stuff. The same legend on the back. So here's Trevor Flynn. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> look at that hair. I should put that in his box too. Look at his cute shoes, his little jacket and shirt. He's got like shorter hair up on top, so it's like messy and sticks up. And he's also got hat box hair. His eyes, he has big green eyes and they're looking off to this side. She has green eyes also, and they're looking off to the other side. So they kind of look alike but I thought they looked like they would be great friends when I was ordering them. They kind of had the same color clothes and some of the biggers have like poofy curly hair. Um, this back and forth head, oh, it's kind of on a, it's on a ball. So head's on a ball, pivot so you can do cute poses no, just joints on the shoulders and the tops of the legs. Oh, he's got blue on him from his pants. No movement like in his legs or anything. No, he's not a jointed doll. He just, I like that. Say, hey, hey guys. So those are my two biggers that I ordered when I ordered my gorgeous doll that I opened last week. Aren't they adorable? And then today, this box came and I ordered what's in this box. I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking a week or more after I ordered these guys and my other doll. Just because You know me. I'm thinking, well, I got two coming. I actually looked at the gorgeous dolls because there was another one I wanted. And I'm happy. I'm kind of glad that I didn't order another gorgeous. Because although she is really cute, I think one of her is, is enough. They all look kind of the same, different color hair and stuff. But... So, I'm a little confused because I thought I ordered a baby. Maybe she's not coming yet? So yes, another Biggers. And, and this guy. Don't know. Okay, something about me. Oh, my cat is having a sneezy fit. Something about me, um, 
Reborns. I love little girl Reborns. They're my favorite. I like boy Reborns, but I'm always like drawn to the little girl Reborns. But other dolls, like like dolls like this or like little ball jointy dolls and stuff, um, I'm drawn to the cute little boys. And so that's what this other box is. But first we'll do this bigger really quickly. So this figure, I didn't even notice the first time I was looking at them. Well, I noticed her, but I thought she was a boy, and I just liked the little red-heady freckle face boy. Well, she has freckles, too. See, I don't know. Maybe they all do have freckles. But then I saw her on my second go-around when I was feeling like I needed to buy another one. <laughs> And her name is Molly. Molly Doig. <laughs> Look at this little girl. She has short hair, and I've always liked short hair or dark hair um, dolls. And I don't know if that's just because growing up I had dark hair. I think for that thing's supposed to be hanging down. I had dark hair, and so I liked dark haired dolls because it was like me, and my friend was like blonde, there's like sticky stuff in her hair, um, blonde, and I, I, I wanted to have dark hair dolls, and I didn't think brown hair was, got enough attention. Nowadays, it, I think they're pretty good with, with most things. But, but anyway, so here's Molly. Look at this face. She has brown eyes that are looking straight ahead. And she has this cutesy short hair. And this hat with the pom-poms. And her little plaid overalls with the strap that is bigger. So I feel like she's supposed to be like... You know, like a world traveler little gremlin girl. Kind of unkempt. Unkempt. So there's her. See, look how cute. He has little teeth. She has like little puckered lips. And she just has a little mouth. And their eyes are all looking different ways. I think I did pretty good on keeping them different. And maybe they all are different. And now that I have them, oh, they're so cute. I might end up down the road buying one of the little curly head ones too. There's also another little boy that's pretty cute, but but he's very cute. Reminds me of my husband when he was a little young. He had red hair and freckles, but he had blue eyes. And that's where this boy comes from. This is a Paula Paula Reina, and he is. He's the size I imagine be. He's even a little skinnier. Um, made 100% in Spain. Oh, not suitable for children under three. <laughs> no story with him. There's another little doll in this group of dolls like this with um, pink hair I'm interested in, but I just... Oh, I just really don't have the space to be buying all these dolls. So here is he. And I don't think he has a name or anything. He's just a Paul Arena. And he has the same hair as Flynn's. Is it Flynn? Trevor. Trevor Flynn. Where it's like long but it's cut on short with this little tuft. And it's got this little bag, and it's got his dinosaur shirt on, and these little shoes that I'm going to need to retie. It's Paolo Reina. It says on the bottom of his shoes also. So that's kind of fun that they all came together. I swear I bought 
baby though. Maybe I didn't. Maybe the last second I did. They have little um bigger babies too. But I think they're only like this big. But they're just these little chunks. And they there was one with like bluish hair and one with pink hair. So he has just back and forth motion. Just arms. He's vinyl. His legs. Um. I don't know if he's one the dolls are supposed to smell like vanilla. He does smell good, but I don't know if it's vanilla. Um, he has green eyes and freckles also. So I have my one of my favorite dolls growing up was um, my friend Mandy. Sadly, when I got a little older, my mom and dad gave her away. And I thought she was put up in some boxes, and I dug the boxes down when I was late teens, probably. Early 20s, I don't remember. And looked, looked like, felt through them in the rafters, and because I was hoping to find her, but they'd given her away. And then, some years later, um, my friend Mandy started showing up at the thrift stores by our house and so my mom and dad bought me one and I bought one because they were like three dollars and then I ordered one also off eBay I actually I think I have five but there's one that's like in the best shape and reminds me of mine like how the hair looks and how it smells and everything so I have her sitting out in my room and then a couple years ago I bought Willa when Toys R Us well when did Toys R Us go out of business that's when I Went and bought Willa, um, American Girl doll, and she's smaller. She's one of the smaller ones, and she sits by Mandy, and that's when I saw him. I thought, well, he can sit there with my friend Mandy and Willa and be the little brother. So, yeah. These are the new guys, the new dolls. And they all coexist with the Reborns, so... These guys cute. They could be fun in the summertime taking pictures of outside and stuff. They look like little adventurers, don't they? <laughs> I might have to look at my order because I really swear I thought I bought one of the babies. No, I think I might have bought her and paid just a little bit more to have her. I think I was looking at the babies with him and then I noticed that she was a girl and I thought oh I'll get her instead of the baby so we have four three fingers and a thumb hey guys so a little different box opening but I think it was kind of fun if you stuck around thanks for watching and yeah um Reborn box opening. I have a Reborn custom -ish. I asked for the kit, but I didn't, I didn't pick how she was painted. That will be probably paid off by in March, the 1st of March. So we will have that box opening. And I was thinking that there was no other Reborns in the horizon, but the same artist is painting or painting a kit that I really wanted sometime in March, April. So in the next few months, there could be two box openings. Plus, I have my one reborn that I send away almost, well, it was about a year and a half ago. So if she ever gets sent back to me, and she's she's a reborn, but she's not a known doll kit. She's just a doll I was getting reborn. So other than that, we'll just be changing babies, and I have no more of these guys coming either. I did get two ball joint dolls that were kind of inexpensive, but I thought that was way too much and way too boring. Anyway, so look at the Biggers and my little Palo Rina. I don't know what I'm going to name him. I should just name him after my husband. Call him Little John. Oh, yeah, Pee Pee likes him. <laughs> Alright, I hope you all are having a beautiful day. I will stop talking now and go pick up my mess. <laughs>